Ivan Mihal. How you feel for Rio de Janeiro? Feeling thank you. Shui, how feeling for major? I feel major. Really quick interview. How feeling for Rio de Janeiro trip? I, I feel very good, yes. Very good feeling. Very good feeling? Yes. Mr. Ash, Betty. How you feel for Rio de Janeiro? Thank you. Oh. Oh. Hello. How much? Ah, good. 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 Thank you. No Thank you. We we'll get a lot of compliments. You think I should get this to Brazil? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I hate like a long time. You're on the plane, like you you watch three movies already, and like a whole whole season of a Netflix series, and slip for three hours, and then you wake up, and it's still five hours until you, you land, and like, okay, what what am I gonna, what am I gonna do now? Then I've never had a twelve hour flight to be on, so I guess I'll get pretty bored, but I'll try to sleep most of it. <laughs> I've never been to South America before, so it should be nice. I think looking from like pictures and stuff, videos, I think Brazil is a really, really nice country. But uh, yeah, we'll see what it offers when we get there. So we're going to have a lot of fun and uh, we're just going to gain a lot of experience from the whole event. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hotel and the back room are really good. I think even compared to the RMR, I think it's everything feels like a an upgrade. It's in a really nice location. The back room is really clean. It's got everything we we need really. Um, I don't think you can really ask for much more. Hey guys, I heard you want to see how we are doing in Rio. Come, I'll show you around. So now I'll show you our chill out area where we just sit, watch the games, and have fun with our friends and cheer on to other teams as well. And going further, we walk into the snack room and the party room. We have some table tennis, we have some pool, and we have the snacks. Some unhealthy snacks, some healthy snacks, fruit, vegetables, whatever you like. And then we head into the outside. A really nice view of the Rio de Janeiro Lagoon. We can sit here, get some fresh air, relax as well outside, and just have a good time overall. Now we head on to the practice room, uh, where some may say that's where all the magic happens. Here we have the whole team uh, currently surfing, playing deathmatch, having fun. Uh, currently Mihai is... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, really sorry. And we have uh, Frederick Gilstrand, Akor. He's currently warming up uh, for the upcoming game. And also we have Nico, who's uh, also playing this match. And we have Ash, who's uh, currently doing some anti strat which you should not look at right now, <laughs> because it's very private. And then we have the beautiful view, whenever we want to take a break from playing CS, of the lagoon in Rio de Janeiro. I really like the uh, uh, commodities here. It's probably the best place I've been to. It's definitely a step up even from Malta, which is really good. Honestly, it feels to me like we're just playing a, another online cup or something. Everyone's kind of really chilling out, doing their own thing, and we're kind of just in like a, a good mood. I 
think the first major for us and for the Brazilian scene um, will be something very big. This is my first major. Super happy about that. First time for me playing in, in front of a big crowd. Uh, I think it's a really nice thing for them to do. To do it in the, in the lower stage as well. To get players more uh, like hyped up and I think it's a really nice thing. And I'm, I'm hyped to play in front of a crowd. Obrigado. Obrigado. Por que? Isaac, por que so beautiful? <laughs> oh my god. I'm feeling uh, maybe a little bit nervous, but not that much. I expected to be much more nervous and stressed about it. But uh, I don't think I'm in general that nervous about the whole event. No. Currently, I'm not feeling a bit nervous. I'll probably feel a bit nervous before the game, but I think it'll be all right. A lot of players are going to be nervous, also a lot of our player is going to be nervous. The moment the game starts and we get into the rounds and um, actually like, yeah, get into the competition, I think uh, this is going to change immediately. People say that in Brazil, the Brazilian fans are like one of the best fans in the, in the world. Because, uh, they all they all love the game. They all have a insane passion for the for the game, and it's something nice to see. Does it, does it feel a bit surreal being here in Rio and the major happening and everything going on? I mean, being in Rio is, is, is amazing. I've never been here before and, and like the place looks so like amazing. And, like it looks insane and, and I hope the fans is going to be like, you, you know, the Brazilians always really, really like loud and, and I hope we're going to hear here at the stage. All right, all right, cool. Thanks, Thanks man. Good Thank you. Guys, look happy. Don't look sad like you do all the time. Ash. I think uh, 9Z is gonna come in really confident, but we took him seriously and we did the prep. We're we're ready for for them on multiple maps. Uh, yeah, I would say it's it's not as easy of an opponent as, as everyone thinks. So we're definitely gonna be serious and treat them with respect. Okay, let's get you some batches. Thank you. Obrigado. De nada. Obrigado. Can we take this off? No, keep it on. You need it to enter. <laughs> um, so we've got 9Z in our first game and I think that they're a really underrated team, I think. They're one of my teams that if we weren't played against them, we'd be thinking maybe even put them through as like a pick them or something like that. I think they're going to play confident CS. Um, they've been playing really well in their own region and they're definitely a team that shouldn't be taken for granted. They're going to have the home field advantage as well. I think they're going to be a really difficult team to play against and we're not expecting an easy game at all. I am very excited. I don't think I've been as excited in my life about CSGO. <laughs> it's surreal. It's uh, something I, do, I never thought I would experience. Even if it's like a few people now in the arena, it's really hard to, to comprehend that this one is going to be full. And uh, maybe we can win some of them over after today's game. We need more crowd, but uh, it's going to be fine. I want to get everyone as calm as we can, okay? Yep, yep. Just to make sure. Thank you, thank you. Not stressing out. You want to do a circle and do a pep talk for us? <laughs> it's time to go. Yeah. 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 Y
that's it. I just want to get everyone loose, you know. It's going to be a high stress level. We're chilling, we're chilling. It is chilling. Just be laughing, smiling, joking, whatever, oh, and then just come back here and stress when we're running stage. You know? It's going to be interesting when they go on our screen. I don't know how it is, especially in uh, Brazil, if they cheer also for Argentinian teams. So I'm not really sure how the atmosphere is going to be there. But even if it is going to be for them, then uh, it's going to be, it doesn't, it's not going to matter. We're there to do our own job. Seriously guys, we should enjoy this. This is going to be yeah. fucking sick. Even if we're not on our side. Exactly, boys. Let's play our game, okay? Yeah. You say just gamer, and we say legion. Okay. Gamer Legion on three. One, two, three. Gamer Legion! Hello! Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Great part. Are you guys making shoes or no? Yep. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can hear it. Take off my shoes. It feel like home. I I might, on. Uh, it's so cold right now. I need I'm, my flip flops. Your Gucci flip flops. Yes. Oh, this floor. Did you take your shoes off? Yeah. Does it feel like good? Glass. This floor is so. Uh, glass like glass. Glassy. Glass. Glassy. But. Does it feel good on your feet? Yes, let's get it indeed. Let's get straight into it. We are starting off the Rio Major. It is finally, finally here, and it promises to deliver this game. Yeah, I will boys. I will boys. This Buddha gets closer. I am is in a perfect position to strike. Flash toward the pit. If he gets past the box, though, I am's not going to have a chance on him. He's only going to pop out late. Sees the second, and I. No! Let's go, boys! Let's go, boys! Strike and run in. He knows there's one. He always sees it. So <laughs> much <laughs> damage, but couldn't get it done. And he gets some posts, nice, I, I guess, from the afterlife with the nade, but it doesn't matter. I am's already put him down. It's 12 to 1 now for Gamer Legion. Plenty of bodies here from Gamer Legion to deal with this. Caught nearly with the smoke out. He also has to be careful. He's just going to stay hidden behind the pillar. That's going to let Shui go to work. He finds two. That's plenty in this situation because now they have. A two-man advantage with four players remaining at NQZ that drops. It's all on DGT. And I think this one's going the way of Gamer Legion. At a 16-6 to scoreline, IM fittingly closes it out. And that is a performance from Gamer Legion to start off this real major. Yeah, you got to be very pleased about that one if you're Gamer Legion. Obviously, a young roster, tough playing in this environment against the crowd, and they make it look easy. A fun matchup. Uh, playing Vitality is definitely a really strong team, one of the top teams in the world. Uh, but you know, we love playing as underdogs, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm really hyped for this matchup because in my um, opening game, in the, my first major, I played versus them and we we won the game. So I'm looking forward for it again. Pretty happy with the map pick. All in all, it's what we expected. We're ready for it, and we're gonna shock the world again. 
I'm on one side. You guys were monstrous. How did it feel? Oh, it felt amazing. Uh, I mean, we came into the game really well prepared and uh, the crowd was uh, honestly amazing, although they weren't maybe cheering for us. <laughs> uh, I mean, we still used it to our advantage, so I think we got the best of it. I think there are some people shouting. I cannot hear it. They, they are uh, shouting for us, right? Or am I tripping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were shouting at one point. Ime, Ime, I, I heard. Ime. I heard they were screaming like, Oh, 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 this time, they gave him a clue, and that's all they needed for that. So, there's right. IM dead, there's a 6-0 oh, here for Vitality, and oh, it some of these. A lot of X-Factor kills are coming through for Gamer Legion. Let's go, guys. Big round. Big round. Big round gets going, guys. Let's go, let's go. Stay calm. Let's get a thumbs up. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Apex, he just comes flying back. They're in the CT spawn. Said, guys, watch this. Nice! nice! Don't you come in. I told you, are going to destroy them. Thank you, thank you. Current number one. Spinks dropped to 23. Kios on the brink of death, but that nade. Nice! 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 Guys, that was, that was fucking sick. I 6 0 that one, guys. 6 0 Push this first half to the 9 6 lead. I mean, it's just a heavy lean. Ooh. Kios comes through, attacks the flank, nice! and then Spinks is the last piece to add to the Nice! 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 Say that one more time. They are not good enough at Counter-Strike to win these duels. He's got a player breathing down his neck. Gets the dink, but still, I am stands. And he's got a teammate right next to him. Mad Nothing. Nice. 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 Let's go. Wait. Nice, Mihai. Nice fucking balls. Big balls. Nice, Mihai. This, the CTs are, are supposed to fall back eventually. They can't even kill him with a molly behind them. They just chill in these unfavorable fights and still come out ahead on duels. Acor, he's gonna boost him, and this could be the angle, but it gets caught by Apex. IM lines up too, and now Time. he just falls back. Apex has to commit to this plant, and this would be. No! He oh, fumbles oh, the plant! Oh. He didn't even fake it! Timber <laughs> Legion! That's <laughs> now 15! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Yeah, Nico Trouble. Nice, man. 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 Nice, Perfect spot. Waits and strikes down two. Dupree and Apex have to claw back a 2v4, and that is simply not going to happen. Yeah! 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 Defeat Vitality and push them nice! to the 2 v How are we able to beat Vitality? That's a good question. They won both of the pistol rounds and they got a bunch of lucky rounds that I don't think if they play them again they're gonna win them. So I don't know. We were just a better team yesterday. As much as I don't want to trash talk teams after we beat them, I think we're in a good spot. We have very good vibes right now. We're prepared a lot for the game. Obviously it's probably something that they didn't have access to because they just played just right before our game. So I think, yeah, yesterday we performed better than them and I'm proud of what we accomplished. But I want us to keep it forward, and in case we get them ever in a rematch, we're gonna show it again. Ash took attack at uh, 6 0 or 5 0 or something, and talked about, you know, just being, just staying in the game still. We lost the rounds quite unlucky, which we should have won, but uh, no. So that was a kind of a, a little reset. Like we're playing really solid to us, like even if you watch us back, it's, it's not perfect, and we're not where I want us to be, but it's, it's really solid fundamentals, and um, I think we're just. We're in a good place at the moment. The guys are trusting each other and it's, it's, it's all coming together. Mm. To be honest, I have no idea how we won. I went like, okay, we played their best map. Maybe they they won the veto against us, but uh, fuck it, we can play Vertigo as well. Even though the, the stats doesn't show that, so we know that we can play Vertigo as well. And I don't know, we just went in, let's play it. Let's play our game. Let's see what happens. Uh, 
Uh, Banyu's Eagles are really they're a special team. They play super aggressive. Uh, they have a they have a crazy play style. They are playing very loose, very buggy. They're gonna push to the smoke a lot. They will not play like a structured CS. I think they're kind of like the same team as us. Like we we're really like momentum based team. BNE is probably one of the most informed and uh, I don't know uh, really hard to play against overall teams because they capitalize on momentum really well and they are a very confident team with people that are very close friends and it would be very hard to, to completely rule them out of the game even if we're banging heads, even if we're playing 10 out of 10 game they won't go down easy I feel like they're playing like very conf confident CS and we should really not underestimate them and be ready for everything We can't let the stress and nerves uh, uh, get into our heads and uh, we can't think ahead. We can't think that we're better than them right now. I mean, they're 2-0 as well, so they did something correctly. Uh, I think the map veto went uh, according to what we were expecting, and I think we're going into it very prepared. I'm with Acor from who I'm naming the Kingslayers out here. It's Game of Legion who have been dominating from start to finish on these tougher opponents. Now I spoke to Apex a little bit and he said it was more that them guys didn't play up to their level, they lost to themselves, not you beating them. But you just said to me a little while ago that these games are feeling a bit easy right now, so what is it? I mean, it can always be the top teams not playing up to their level, so it can't be every time, I guess. So um, I guess we're just like, yeah, for some reason, the better team feels it, it feels it feels easier for me to play against the better teams. I don't know why, but but that's that's what it feels like. Right, boys. I'll be, I'll be saying this shoot, same shit today if we were right. And that is, we can't ever take anyone for granted, especially today. So fucking much. We deserve this today, guys. Come on, let's fucking do this. Let's go. 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 Let's go. Come on. Boys. Game religion on three. One, two, three. Game yeah. Let's go, Major. Got a best of three of Gamer Legion versus Bad News Eagles. And a Molly in his face has to step forward into the fight. Whoa, Gets the double whoa. up the triple for Acor. Locks them down. The bomb's loose. Well, you're talking about prickly rifles. It's Acor who has single handedly dispatched of the Eagles on this A split. Rigon did slink through the smoke though. May not be ready. Ah! Ah! BNE are heating up. This was the first, the first gun round, and it's over at 1 minute 20. Guys, I just want to say, I know we want to make plays, and I know we should be in their face, but I think we should stick to how we always played. Yeah. Don't make any new stuff up, because it just makes us uncomfortable. Yes, sir. We're in, we're, we find ourselves in situations that we never find ourselves in. Come on, guys. guys. One round at a time, guys. One round yep. at a time. Stay in this all the way. Let's do this. Come on. You're, we're far good enough, guys. We're way fucking good enough to do this. Let's fucking prove it. Come on. 16 so close, and Rigon just hitting his shot. Next. And there forward. Eight core frags. Back and forth into the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that might be it. Four, three, two, a court. Nice. Nice, Freddy. <laughs> nice, Take it it Freddy. And looking to stamp their ticket I'll, I'll to a one to zero. Yeah. It's good. Okay, okay guys, let's go outside. Yeah. Oh, guys, guys, what, guys, gotta believe in Thank ourselves. You, yeah. Guys, guys, all this praise you're getting, you deserve every fucking, yeah. every single bit of it. We've got to believe in ourselves more. Come on, yeah, you're doing Mirage now. Yeah. You're fucking coming back. Come on. You're one of the best players in the world one day, man. Come on. Come on, guys. We fight this all the way. Come on, yeah. we start now. Let's game go. Religion on three. One, two, three. Game yeah. Yeah. Come on. Fucking go. Pensive music as the chicken is adjusted and we prepare for map two. His name's Bob. He's got a name? Yep, Shuey called him Bob. Bob! I mean, you know, Shuey, he's known for his naming conventions. I think he's done well there. Bob the chicken. Pull on the cross back. No. Gives up the angle. Oh. Counter-strike timing. It's a funny one sometimes. And there's the finish. Yes, sir. Synopsy, very comfortable into our second map of play. Now, Game of Legion being a map down, that extra pressure of what this matchup means. Sure, they took down Vitality. Sure, they took down 9Z. But this is for all the marbles. And that is a goose right there. A, a court just around that gap. And Flatro is playing a dangerous game. Punished for it now. Rig on down and only Synopsy. They missed a the smoke. I think it was yeah, Well, they've sandwich. got plenty where that came from. So they can lose this. On the bomb now. First found. Synopsy would need to do something ridiculous. With the low HP, he's not. He's sticking it. 
He's sticking it. He doesn't check. Doesn't take the bullets. Oh no! A disaster. And Aiko nice. may have saved them. Nice, nice, the nice. Let's he go, got, boys. Got Let's fucking go. Absolutely bang on. The interview with Ash, he was talking about how, you know, the, the main conversation of the team, at least from the pundits, or at least the, the fans at home, has been about Acor and Shui. But the other three, Isaac, Ime, uh, and of course Kios here, he was giving them props on how important and vital to this team they are, the roles that they play, how everybody's selfless in this team. They're happy to jump out knowing they'll be traded. Hanging around a lot more than most. Flatro may not be expecting this to be so forward to go for a reclear. Acor, you badass, cheeky. Great awareness, Imi cut down a little. Scary, but flat throw, not the same. Shuey's down, three remain. BNE to do it again in back to back majors. One, one, just one, two one, frags one, away. One, 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 and they, so one, they are making them kick it up a bit of a brilliant opportunity. And they will not let it go. Okay, guys, look at Bad news, Eagles. Is it going to be worth talking in the Move, we have to talk about tomorrow. I felt like we had the same mood as the game versus uh, so on the bootcamp. camp. Like, I felt like we, I don't know, we Lost were focusing. way too quiet. Yeah. Why, why, why were we so quiet? I yeah, I felt like yesterday was not as the first day of the, this tournament. Like the mood was not as good as it was on this first day when we took the tunes and I think it had, it had an impact on our game as well. Tomorrow we're going to stage, we, we do have to play on stage. Yeah, we're going to play on stage, it's going to be an amazing experience and we're very confident. Yeah. And we will have main stage game for sure. Like, the crowd is going wild tonight. Because we were playing against, we were playing against their best team, kind of. So everyone will yell at us. They are jumping around and everything. This can't, this should and will not affect us. L like the first game, we do we'll just play our game. No matter what happens in front of us, it doesn't matter. Just focus on our game. But we need the energy. Come on, boy. Believe in yourself. Yeah, I think the most important thing is that we all reset after yesterday and we should all realize that it was just an off day for us and don't uh, don't really focus too much on yesterday and just make today a new day. And don't overthink too much. Yeah. This is our chance to prove all of them wrong. We are only 12 people and they are 4,000 and plus. So just play together. Like, play and win together. No matter what happens, we can always come back. Like, today the energy is here and we have to bring the energy on the stage. Yeah. Like, no matter what's, what's going on there, like, if you want me, I can go into the, in the crowd and we'll be the only one screaming. Uh, we won't meet each other anymore afterwards, but just <laughs> <laughs> try to show them that you don't fear them. Oh, so we put our hands up like a city can hold us. I think Brazilian fans in uh, Counter-Strike are really crazy. They're really, really passionate about CS. So I think the atmosphere there will be, will be something else. Uh, their sheer number will probably be uh, a bit overwhelming for us, but I think we're gonna... It's going to be my first time playing in front of such a big arena, and uh, I'm really excited for that. 
yesterday guys it was an off day okay we're allowed to have off days everyone has off days yeah, okay today it's the same thing we've got to trust each other more than ever because today we're it is us fucking six against the world we're on that stage today is about being fucking men guys but we need to be together we need to be the group more than ever now right we can do this guys i swear to god we can do this the veto is fucking sick our preparation is good I fucking think we can win this game against the crown no matter what right let's fucking enjoy this today guys please please fucking enjoy this guys go. let's continue our journey of face. making our dreams come true let's no. fucking go, go. Game Religion 3, 1, 2, 3, Game Religion! I actually love this world. Fucking love them too. We ascend to Vertigo, the first of our three. And there is absolute pandemonium live from Rio. Trying to will Furia into a strong start. They start on the T side. Game of Legion to defend. Very low. Shui will big bait and switch. Need this. Isaac gets it. Can still go wrong, Keiserato, he has the chance to right the ship. A three versus five, and now looking at the superstar, he's looking the wrong way, he gets it done. What a recovery. The fangs of Fury are strike early here, Fury and Keiserato, or as Urato as they're known here in Rio. Good golly. Isaac aware, Keiserato dead. On for the clutch. Pressure on Art, needs to get that bomb down, and ooh, the fight, it's a big one! Hey. No! This one is going! Clutch is yes. up for go, boys. Hold on, I get up on, I get up on. I'll take a shower with you later today. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Can you flash side? No, not, no. Soon, soon, soon. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Good. I can flash. And holding a lovely off angle, there's no way Acor's checking that, it could! Come down to the one on one, and it's Kios again. Let's go, oh, Nico. Two denials. Let's fucking go. go. I know these Someone are close rounds, guys. Let's fucking do it. Let's keep go. Keep it, it going. Both of the rounds. He actually could, might have got away with that. The spread, the readjustment, the bomb is down. A two on two oh. now. And Yuri, relentless on the AK. Get away, and the advantage, it swaps hands. Isaac's had a clutch. Has he got any more in him? Just staying together at the hip. He's got to find us both. That's right. That's right. Come on, boys. It's right right right. stick together. Yeah. Let's tell each other what we want to do. Especially if the bump is left side, we can just easily spam that, guys. Keep that in mind. Okay, Serato's still alive, and they're going to look, go looking for him. He's still caught one. Gets Acor out of it. Oh! Oof, shooey, shooey, stylish, just efficient on the limited bullets. Swapping between them, gets it done. Now Yuri in the clutch. Limps of yeah, the head just right. through the box. And now he gets one. Oh, oh yeah. Isaac yeah. extends play and trying to get in with 15 seconds. It's just going to be hectic. Kios trying as hard as he can, but it's not enough. It is not enough. Acor That's right. down. Fury. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Guys, I just want to say, we have nothing to be sad about. Yeah. They played really good on that map, and it's also we had a break from the stage. So we should be even proud of what they did. There are some rounds we, we could have won. They went their way. Unlucky, we won some close rounds as well. So it was a 50-50 round to this scenario. Right now, we go into the next map, which is Inferno. It's our map we've been really good on it. On practice, on officials, whatever it is, we've always uh, proved that we're really good. Whether that is playing just so slow, calculated CS, or playing so fast. These guys are, like you see, they are uh, abusing the sounds the sound from the crowd. They're gonna rush, it's their place I always. But that they feel the most comfortable beside the crowd. So I want us to keep us keep that in mind. But I also want us to abuse it as well. They can't yep. we've been having a lot of fun in the game during the tech pauses we've been laughing, we've been looking at the crowd, yeah. me and Isaac have been laughing through the guys. Yeah. There's a guy in front of the stage just mocking us. <laughs> me and Isaac just couldn't stop laughing at us. And we started intimidating him and then he couldn't look at us anymore.
Let's go, boys. Let's have a lot of fun. Bomb is last round. Is Ooh, okay. In trouble. And then he caught it in everything. What is going on? Even the nade bouncing off his nose. I think if you catch that in dodgeball, the other guy's out. So, uh, Acor. <laughs> Poppy start top banana, and it's continued round after round. You can see the mistakes. They're glaring. He wants to knife it. He was so mad he missed the first. Oh, they flash for him. He wants it so bad. Oh, Trana, he missed it. Nice. Nice. nice game. You saved it. You saved it, Nifa. Important. Yeah. Truly playing with their food. They are like killer whales. Getting the Legion are an innocent little seal on an iceberg. Getting played with right now. It's coming. Time very sensitive. No answers. No idea where he's going to be. Oh my goodness! He actually hit the. Oh! That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All good. All good. That is something out of the fiction. Gisalato takes on. As we freaking shut this fucking crowd up, we can do this. I swear. Yep. You know, they're going to get really overconfident here as well. Oh, I love it. Acor, he's been let off the leash. They got the memo on the half. Just go. Balls to the wall and pins Furia to it too. Drop the hard fumble and not going to happen. Acor will rack up a second. That's despair and it's not going to be allowed. Cancel. Nice. Let's go, boys. Nice. Let's go, boys. Keep it the fuck on. Cancels play. Balls. Is doing great. Yes, Freddy, that's it's what I want to fucking see, bro. Good fucking shit. Nice ballsy play. You have big balls of fucking love balls. That, like a steel. Fucking love that, man. Nice. Good cool. shit, guys. Really how good how much weigh your balls? 10 kilos? I don't know. I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Keep round again, guys. Bring round again. Let's keep going. Yeah, really positive all the fucking time. Be brave. Good boys. Go on, guys. I'm going to say that. Working on pit. Chewy, Isaac, both good for the frag. That's info. Three on A, they scream. Acor's got your rotate wrap, and that's another big frag. As this falls apart, Furia Pretty at the finish line. No! Game of Legion. No! Oh, no! Is that Thank you, bro. Is, is there home? There should be their legend stage spot. Secure. One more frag away, and from behind, safe. Top of the tables, wants to finish it for Furia. Can he finish it with style? He will! <laughs> Brazil has a presence in the Legend stage! Rio demanded it, Furia insisted and resisted the potential footfalls of the Challenger stage. style I think but it, when you don't understand the language I think that helps a lot because you've got no idea what they're chanting about you or anything like this um, so I won't play Fury it was it was probably the most one-sided the crowd's ever gonna get for uh, five European players with <laughs> pretty much no following I think we're allowed to sign they want some signatures do you think we're allowed to sign no. yeah so starting off I think the against first one against 9z I think the crowd was not there yet uh, I think it was just getting warmed up then the next time we played uh, Furia on stage and you could feel the crowd then. It, was, uh, it just felt like the, the whole country was against you. But I mean, uh, that's just the way it is in Brazil and uh, I've got nothing against that. I mean, they're cheering for their own team. I would do the same. Even though versus Furia, it wasn't on our side, it was still really fun and amazing to play uh, in front of. Uh, it was super lovely. Sometimes uh, the team has to get used to the fact that not all the fans are going to be cheering for them. And I think it's good that we just uh, we experience that now rather than later. And uh, for the next term tournament or for the next opportunity like this, we're going to be ready for it. We experienced uh, something new, playing uh, <laughs> basically against the whole country when we played against Furia and uh, yeah, it was nice to play with a big, with a huge crowd.
win! Let's go guys. Good luck. Thank you. the type of person to get hyped up by the crowd even if it's not uh, in my favor I mean uh, I just really like the hype I like being loud and uh, I think we're just gonna use it to our advantage yeah I think exactly as Camille just said and I think we couldn't have hoped for a better matchup in front of the crowd so I'm really really happy about this one I think we definitely got more fans after this event. Um, we, we were very kind to the Brazilian crowd. We tried to engage with them a lot, um, talk with fans, uh, um, sign stuff for them, make pictures with them. We brought the Brazilian flag on the, on the stage. different paths throughout this challenger stage of I am Rio. It's Game of Legion taking on Cloud9 and it's going down after this. Someone today or one of you up here today we can't win. I say fuck you, right? We can fucking do this, right? You've got to believe guys. I mean everyone on it, yeah? Come on boys. One, two, three, gamer. Yeah! Game oh big from him. A delivery. Acor just needs to play for his life now. Three committing. The remaining three are Cloud9. Oh, and a glorious trade out. Four in the round. Acor awakens. And Game of Legion post the round early. Keys with having your AWP as someone who's vocal, right? Uh, if we remember the Cloud9 win, I know we're going back in time, and I'm talking about the North Austin? American version, yeah. right? No! Well, this, this is a very forward play on the fade. Need more. Oh! 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 Chaos shattered like, Cloud9 with the oh! 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 Let's fucking go, Nico. <laughs> nice! Nice, Nico. <laughs> wow. <laughs> fucking unreal, bro. I need to, I need to. <laughs> So <laughs> what the fuck happened? The guy killed four. I said one. I hear the crowd. I am ready to fucking move. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. Round hole. Could be looking at something. Oh, rather exciting. Excuse That's me, geeky, geeky problems for Axel Burns to a crisp alongside Ovid, and that's the finish. Shuey. Little wry smile creeps onto his face as he hits that, and look at this! I didn't it? know you could do that. I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't know you could do that. Has to be the first to draw blood for game and lead you. Kios, Imen, doubled on the tech nine, and the house will start to crumble. Built on sand. Kios a bit frustrated, but the info's there. He's low as well. No time to run him down. I don't think Isaac hunting good in the Shiro hood. Still has his signature weapon. Game of Legion. But the trend and they exploited this monster completely dilapidate the game of legion boys left wanting on this second half of play that's right okay lucky guys that might be if we come back we go again half four cloud nine okay guys Still close so honestly it was really close all those rounds are really close there they won't go crystals again we shouldn't quite get it over, right? So don't worry about that too much. We'll go back again next map. It's important to remember, we talked about the start as well. We've got to keep our heads up and go all the way, yeah? If we go out of it now, we're out of the tournament. 
but I think that we're ahead staying in the game until he's over, yeah? If this map ends and we, we lose, then you will be sad if you didn't give in a, enough energy, if you didn't play like you want to yeah. play. Just play what, play your hearts out and now we are with, with our back at the wall, we have one step in the, in the plane already, so we want to get out of the plane and want to stay here. I want to stay here. The weather is shit, but I want to stay here. So let's we focus need, on this. We need to They're not team that's in this off. Yeah. Heads up, guys. Come on. Yeah. We have everything we've got to right? Yeah. Up onto the box, and oh, it's good. Gets the first, gets away. Been his next victim if he didn't pull the ripcord on that. In there. Oh, oh, nice. 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 We don't care, <laughs> we don't care. We love the confidence. Nice voice. One more there, mate. One more. <laughs> Isaac on notice. Napoli remains. That's the box. Vigilant. Bomb leaps out. It's a full commit. Will they clear it? Of course they will. <laughs> Vimet, far too aware to allow any funny business. Shiro, though, still catching nades. It's a third out of Vimet. Very well placed, oh! as is the crosshair of Shui. They will extend their lead, who likely can profit. Yeah, combined with the nade as well. Oof. One down, Axile. Watching. Acor fragging. 2 3 <laughs> in quick succession. Another timeout, another conversation. And he's getting more and more tense. It's not like Game and Legion have been here before. In case you just joined us, this is the first major for this organization. And a shot. And their first major making it to the legend stage. But that is slipping through the fingers right in front of our very eyes now. A 4v2. Nice attempt. Gets the frag. Low as well. Hobbit can catch it. Does Isaac for the 1v4 to extend their play here at the major. It's a retake. Two to find. A well-placed smoke could make the difference. Round the world from Shiro. Ops for jungle. Plant open for it. It's actually behind the boxes. Shiro catching the window. Isaac on his clears. Back his turn. Shiro hesitant with a low HP. But time ticking in Cloud9's favor. No kit. And no hope. Shiro round the world. Still nothing given to Isaac as hope dwindles. As does the time, no time at all, because it's Cloud9's time to secure the Legend stage. All the way back, back against the ropes, and they do say the cornered animal bites the hardest. Cloud9 do not succumb, not once across the best of threes. It's going to be heartbreak for their first taste of the Major. A magical one, I'm sure, in front of the home crowd. The fact that we do get to see and taste that. Stage Counter-Strike for Gamer Legion on their very first venture, but Cloud9, they've been here before, and experience prevails today. You see the look on the faces right there, the juxtaposition between the two, chance after chance has fallen by the wayside. Opposite storylines coming into this 2-2 matchup, the reverse sweep of the Swiss in Cloud9's favor, and this hero journey is just getting started. The Legend stage in a couple of days' time, but talking about journeys and just getting started, I think a lot of these names in the Gamer Legion jerseys are ones for the future. Great play, remarkable counter-strike from the RMR all the way here, inexperienced, names that are definitely not members of the household, and they've shown up and shown their worth. 100%, eyes on all of them. Acor as well, a redemption arc established. Qualifies for the Major, does damage at the Major, pushing the likes of Cloud9, but just not quite enough. <laughs> I'm obviously happy with playing uh, my first major, but uh, it sure definitely won't be my last one either. Uh, I'll still go for as many majors as I can. Uh, it's been uh, definitely a dream come true playing uh, at a major, especially here in Brazil. Um, I really love it. I think it was a great experience for the team. Uh, playing against the some of the best teams in the world. It's, it's always a, a good step forward for the team to gain some experience, even in tough situations, just like playing in front of the crowd. Um, I think the everyone's probably a bit down. It's just the nature of competing. Um, I think our situation as well is 
a bit of a sad one that we were so close and then we kind of bowed out the way we did, like we didn't win a map after after beating Vitality. I feel we had a real off day in a couple of games and it just didn't come together in the others and it's just disappointing. I think the manner which us was disappointing. Leaving Rio is kind of, like, I wouldn't say disappointed, but still a bit disappointed because like we, we had the game against Cloud9 in our hands and we kind of threw it away. Um, we played really close with them and, and I think us, us playing up against like the really big teams once again from the Armand and, and then now the Majors all um, kind of just proves or like at least backs, backs it up a bit that, we, that we're that here to, to stay in like at least top 20 in my opinion. Um, so yeah, if we can keep on going and just keep working from where we are now then hopefully in the future it will be like top 15. I think our run in general, uh, I'm really proud of what we already did, uh, especially with the amount of time that we had. Uh, not many teams could have done this. Uh, I think we, we, what we did was very special. And I think it's just a matter of taking this and just going forward and using it uh, in our favor and uh, taking the experience that we gained and put it into the next tournament. The best story of the trip. Um, I would say the best story was the trip because um, there were so many great things we could do. We two, <coughs> even three weeks ago, nobody of us did think we would we could do them here. I was yesterday, I was part in the crowd uh, when the game against Cloud9 and they treated me really nicely. A lot of people just came, like, hugged me and everything, even after the game when we lost and we hyped them up all of the time. Well, for two hours I was singing, I was doing Brazilian chants about Game Religion. I never thought I was doing this, I was gonna do this in my life. It was amazing, it was an amazing experience and I'm really, really fucking sad that we couldn't, like, if one thing, we couldn't take the win home for them because we were Brazil. Game of Legion was Brazil for one day. Why you tell me? I'm sad, don't tell me. <laughs> really rough moment, but the fact that we can at the start of our journey be disappointed that we've competed with teams with like Cloud9 and Fury and we're going in is, it shows them how far we can go, you know. I think as well for the future, moments like this are going to bond us, are going to make us stronger, it's going to grow us closer as a team, you know, so for now, let's go away, let's be sad, let's be angry, whatever, have a few days off, then we regroup and we start again in Finland, okay? I'm dead proud of everyone here today, guys, we've got in and it is just a part of the game, you know, so, it's ordinary, everyone. Uh, it's been one of my dreams for a very long time to play in a major. I mean, every, I think everyone that's starting off to play CS, the first thing they, they know about is the major, right? The, the big tournament that everyone wants to go to, that everyone wants to play at, that everyone wants to have a sticker in, their, uh, in the game. And I think it's just, it's just one of those things that uh, it clicks instantly, like, oh, I want to do that. I, it's just unforgettable. You, you'll never forget about this moment. And for me to do it even in Brazil, which is one of the countries I've always wanted to visit, and uh, especially because of the fans, I mean, the, because of how invested they are into CS, I think it's just a very special moment overall, and it's definitely a dream come true.